Good morning, back filming. I'm gonna check the chicken house and the farm, which is uh, I'm very worried about because uh, because of the consistent rainfall. I hope there's no problem at all. And I see that the chickens are doing find there even though there's a water inside their house and I'd like to check the fish pan which is very worry for me for that consistent rainfall that happens in a couple of days it's look uh, look fine but I don't know in other fish pan where I am. We arrived here. Okay. So we will see. So far, oh, look like the water here is a bit slow. Mostly because there are lots of uh, stuck in the drain. But I have to fix the. Ah, okay. I have to get the other, other um, source. You have to go with me. Follow me. Keep an eye on my uh, film. Oh, that's good. So I found that the water is just in there, it's just uh, blocked by, by a, maybe rubbish ground. Okay. Here we go. Here. Ah, there are plenty of coconuts. Oh, we can use these coconuts. Something rather falling from up there a little bit of coconuts up there we have to be careful up here go oh, cool coconuts yeah. show it up there okay. there you are don't come back here oh. <laughs> it's coming back right and there is more coconuts in here so I'm gonna get some some of them yeah, put them there, higher. These ones are not wood, so we're gonna throw it away like that. These ones too, throw it away. All right, the water come back. Oopsie, it's a bit, it's a bit heavy, heavy enough. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna put in the little tree. Okay, don't fall, stay there. Okay, that's good. Back to normal now. It's the only problem, anyway. So, I have to go back again up to the fish pan. Fix it. Maybe there are problems down there, so. We can solve it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. This is what we got here. Yeah. Cocoa nuts. I put it in a broken uh, drying place here. Like that. Whoops. All right, more to go, more to go. We 
with that good coconut. Good for everything, like making a coconut milk, um, making a mm, copra, or you can sell it raw, like that. <coughs> you do it good. That's our, that's our fish pan there. Ooh, right, fish. So we are going to check the, the source again here and make sure that everything is under control <laughs> because sometimes we cannot, we cannot uh, control the water from, from uh, like especially heavy, heavy source you see, we can broke our fish pan and it can ruin our our investment so ever fish pan is an investment <coughs> yep ah, okay. I'm gonna take all this rubbish in here to make the drain good okay fix the drains I put this screen because sometimes the fish going up uh, become level anyways in from the fish pan here like that to the fish pan and the source which is the fish can climb up especially those find holes and escape and if you find them killed, killed by the migrant birds, because it's easy to find them in here, because it's a bit uh, uh, visible, visible for the birds. And here now, we are going to check the the drain here, especially where we. Where there are other drains to supply the other fish pan. Okay, see that? We got the rubbish. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Good. And the other side. Keep going. Continue. Hopefully, there's no problem with my brother's pan. Oh, that's good. There's no problem. Thanks, God. Uh huh. Gotta clean up, clean up. Yeah. Clear the drain. Okay. That's what we're gonna do first. Clear the drain, and then make sure that there's no problem, no clogging. Once it's clogged, it can cause danger. It can cause uh, overflowing or it can ruin the whole thing. Here's my spring onions and okra. Hmm, hopefully I can I can get some more soon. It can benefit my hard work. That's all we need. Um good food vegetables and f fresh from the gardens is good for our health so we cannot get it from just in the market because mostly in the market there are plenty of preservatives you see to make to look good but <laughs> all we know that uh, markets uh, market stuff they look good but make they become bad too they, they, they are bad for our health especially with full of chemicals and they all say uh, we all know that 
uh, growing vegetables, especially uh, you you have a place that plenty of um, parasites. You need to use chemicals, but chemicals is not good for our health. So <laughs> it's not good to to have those beautiful look vegetables, but internally could kill you he could kill you you know oh the dragon fruit let's get the dragon fruit i'm gonna put it in the, in the dry place because we can plant this maybe uh kids are playing with with the dragon fruit. i, I plant the dragon fruit there but not very good when I'm always busy, different jobs, different sorts like that. Oh, it's it's no. I can't control the grass growing. <laughs> so, oh, that's the view here from my area around me. 360 degree. It's. Actually, it's raining a bit because there is a, I think, a cold front or a low pressure. So, that's the view here. 360 degree. Like that. Very peaceful place. And it's the best place. Yeah. It's the best place because you can eat uh, your food naturally natural grown especially if you're hard working and you grow some stuff you can eat but if you just sit down hmm ah no luck it's not that you just sit down and plants grow no you have to put effort on it here we go it's like there's a rainbow somewhere you can feel some some, uh, because like evaporation condensation there's a rainbow right so oh, it looked like there's a rainbow somewhere but I couldn't find any <laughs> so maybe there's none ah, that's how it is here look at this, those corns they're small corns because I did not look after them very well these ones are sweet corns. Hopefully I can have some soon in my plate. And there's a, not just corn, I plant also a taro. A taro, a violet colored taro. This is I best, best like really, because I like the taste. And it's, it's very, very good. Here we are, coming back to the to the old house and the shed because I have to feed the chickens, the fish. So that's my routine every day. Fish, chicken, and in the in in the house there, there's a rabbit. So I like. It look like my my. Uh, my family says I'm already having a zoo, uh, a zoo. <laughs> uh, personalized zoo <laughs> anyway oops I have to I have to do something see you